Hi, I'm Bill from CJ Pony Parts. Learning to drive a manual transmission car can be an intimidating prospect for a lot of people, especially if you happen to be on the shorter side. Shorter drivers can have a lot more trouble pushing that clutch all the way to the ground and in turn into pushing the seat all the way forward which can definitely create an issue with the airbag if you ever get in an accident. If you happen to be a shorter driver and have issues reaching your clutch pedal, today we're going to show you how to install its clutch pedal extension that will fit your 1994 through 2016 Mustang. The clutch pedal extension is a pretty simple concept. Basically you have two pieces that sandwich together, your factory pedal is going to go in there, and you have the extension and you reinstall the pedal pad on the outside. When installed, it's going to give you just over an inch and a half more extension, which will make it a lot easier to reach the clutch. We're going to do this installation a little bit differently than some of the others. We're actually going to do it on the table first, then we'll do it in the car secondary. The reason we're going to do it on the table is going to be very hard to see the actual installation under the dash, but doing it on the table, you can see some little tips and little tricks to make it a little bit easier. The installation is not so bad overall. The pedal pad, though, can be a little bit of a pain. For this installation, you need a Phillips head screwdriver, a small plastic pry bar or small flathead screwdriver, and a small pick. The first step is going to remove the factory pedal pad. These are the 2015 and up pedal pads, which are going to be some of the harder ones to do. Depending on the year, if you have the all rubber pad, they're a little bit easier. The metal makes it a little more difficult, but overall it's the same concept. Just basically get an edge here, up to the metal, and you want to pull the factory pedal pad off. That's the easy part. There's two ways you can install at this point. Option one is to take our pedal pad extension, slide it over like this. And you can see how it fits over there and extends the pedal. You can bolt this down, then try to put the pedal pad back on. You can do it that way. In my opinion, it's the harder way to do it as getting the pedal pad back on is the hardest part of this installation. I found it's a little bit easier to actually take this off the car we're going to assemble it with the pedal pad and then kind of stretch it over the metal pedal. What you want to do first is take the factory pedal pad and put some sort of a lubricant on it. You can also try to heat it up if you wanted to. Some people say to put it in the oven to get the rubber a little bit softer. The problem with that, if you put it in the oven with this metal plate, you're going to have a hard time when you try to hold on to this thing. I like to use a lubricant. What I use is like a dish soap, palm olive, something like that. But any kind of lubricant that will dry out eventually will do a good job to help you get this thing on. Make sure you get up into the edges because that's where you have to slide it onto the pedal pad. And what you want to do is install one side at a time. There we go. That side will go in pretty easily. You can see now all the way around the edges is nice and tight. Now the other side. The other side you're going to need something to pry the rubber with. Recommend something not terribly overly sharp. You don't want to use a knife, anything like that. A plastic pry bar, a small screwdriver, a dull pick, anything like that will help you out. We'll start with the top. Trust me, that's a lot easier to do it that way than try to put it on the car. Now what you want to do is hold the rubber tight to make sure it doesn't come off. Kind of go like a clamshell. Open it up just enough to fit around the metal pedal. Now install the screws. The threads are on the outside piece. You want to go from the inside out and thread the screws in. You should get them both started before you go to tighten anything down. Again, they are metal inserts, but it is ABS plastic, so get it snug, but you don't want to crank on them too hard. There you go, your installation is finished. Here you can see the pedal extension installed on our 2015 EcoBoost Mustang. As you can see, it makes the pedal a lot easier to reach. We had a couple of our shorter employees try it out, and they said they noticed a huge difference in how easy it was to reach the clutch pedal. I know this is designed for people who are a little bit shorter who can't reach the clutch pedal. And I'm 6'1", but I actually kind of like the feel of it in the car. It's a much shorter throw, just makes it easier to reach the clutch overall, even if you're a taller driver. The installation is pretty straightforward. Installing the extension is not the problem. The worst part is the pedal pad. But if you do it outside the car like I showed you, it's not bad at all. The whole thing should take you less than an hour. Just be back on the road in no time.